Yo, 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 what's good, y'all? It's your boy, Jess B. And welcome back to the Jess B Show. Man, let me say, 2021 has been insane. It has been insane. All kind of stuff been going on. All kind of amazing things have been going on, man. But most importantly, I've got to interview some of the dopest artists all around the globe. I just hit Paris. I hit uh, North Carolina. Man, I hit Pittsburgh, New York. Man, I've hit Arizona, Vegas, Cali. I mean, you name it. I've been there, done that many and many times over this year, man. Congratulations to all of my past guests that has been on the show. But I feel like these next few guests for the, to end the year strong is the most important. You feel me? The most important. So I want to introduce my homeboy, No Cap. What's happening, King? How you feeling? Man, how you doing, man? It's a blessing to be here, man. Thanks for having me, bro. Oh, yeah, all day, man. So I was just telling the people, man, man I've been all over the globe with this virtual interview thing. Tell them where you're at. Yeah. Well, I'm in the woods. We call it St. Robert. You know what I'm saying? It's two hours from St. Louis, about three and a half from Kansas City. I'm like literally right in the middle. So when needs to come get on these shows, I'm right there. I can get to either way. So yeah, yeah. It's that's uh dope, man. It's a cool little time. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, because yeah. look, y'all, he really in the woods for real. Let me tell you. Last time we tried to do the interview, we had some lagging <laughs> issues. <laughs> we had some lagging issues. Yeah. So we jumped off, rescheduled it, and boom, we back, man. And that's the number one thing I wanna yes, give, sir. um I wanna give you kudos about because you could have been like, I right, I ain't forget it. But the man told me, my brother told me, bro, I'm going to buy a new phone to make sure that this yeah, interview happens. I did that's too. Dope. Yeah, that's dope. what kind of phone? I did, did you man. Yo. Man, it's a uh Celero 5G something. I don't know. It's it's through Boost Mobile. But it's a dope phone though. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, I it had to get better. It. it looked better, sound better, connectivity better and everything. So, hey, enjoy it. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. So, yeah, look, man, man. I mean, you we already discussed this on the first attempt, but it's about self love, unity, and progression. It's an interview, so I'm gonna ask you questions, obviously. As long as we answer them, we'll have a dope yeah. interview. You cool with that? Most definitely, bro. I ask anything you want to know. All right, bet. Good, man. So let's start with the simple questions. You know what I mean? First question is, is let me think. Let me let me get a good one. All right. First question is, okay, you. How old were you when you started music? Ah, uh, when I started music, we was like, uh, I want to say like fifth grade. We were just running fifth around. Grade. That that's when the time when the Hot Boys, yeah, the Hot Boys was 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 real popping back then. So we was running around calling ourselves the uh, LBS, Little Boy Soldiers, pretty oh, much wow. off of them. And you know, ever since then, I was like, yeah. You know, this is something I want to do, so I, I stuck with it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, That's I definitely, so cool, definitely stuck with yeah, that, man. Yeah. The little boy soldiers. Thank you. Yeah, yeah man. man. LBS with the dollar signs. I like it, man. I like it. <laughs> Super creative, man. So, I mean, you've started young. Yeah, you know, man. man. Fifth grade, probably like, yeah. what, 10, 11 years old, something like that? I'll, yeah, about like nine, ten, somewhere around there. Nine, ten, yeah. So my question is, yeah. whatever music meant to you back then at that young age, is it the same now, or what does it mean to you now? Man, that's music to me back then. It's not the same as it is now. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. you don't have your your two. Pox, you don't have your biggies, you don't have your, your bone thugs and three six, you don't have that no more. You got all this drill rap. I ain't got nothing against drill rap, but that's not my lane. So I, I kind of try to steer away from that kind of music. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got too many people getting killed for doing drill rap, and I ain't trying to do no drill shit. Right, right. So, like, um, what does it mean to you, though? You know what I mean? Like, that, is it an outlet for you, or you just it like means doing it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. For me, it's an outlet. It, it gives me something to do because I have like severe ADHD. I have like bipolar, depression and stuff like that. So that's definitely an outlet for me to get my feelings out and 
tell people how I feel so that way maybe they can relate. Yeah, man. That's super cool, um, bro. Super cool. That's what I got. So what's, what's the music scene like uh, in the woods? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The music scene is it's back then, like, like before I went to prison in 2014, it was like it was it was decent, you know what I'm saying? Now it's like everybody then disappeared. There's not many rappers out here no more. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna keep doing this as nobody else wanna keep doing it. I'm gonna try to put on for our city, our town. So Right. But it's yeah. it, it it's scarce, put it like that. It's very scarce. Yeah, yeah, I feel it. I mean, so what so does drill music is it popping out there or trap music or R and B? Like what's popping out there where you at? Man, everything is popping out here. You got your drill. You got your people that were uh, that they rock your drill. You got people that listens to R and B. Uh, people that listen to that pain music that I that I kind of find myself stepping into. You, mm -hmm. you just got different varieties. You got like white folks out here listening to to, to the trap, and you got to listen to the Gucci's and and and, and the the Migos and all them. So yeah. you got a very very variety of people to listen to music out here. Nah, yeah, that's cool. It, 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 good, it's, it should be like that because the, yeah, the culture, the culture of music know. is so big. You know what I mean? It's good to have a variety in one spot. Yeah, Most definitely, man. Must definitely. So uh, yeah, I mean, definitely. Uh, I I definitely try to do a variety of music. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, that's dope. You know what I mean? And that pain, that pain music, up. bro. I like to call it reality music. Cause you know we we all go through shit. We just telling our reality. That's yeah. All. That's all. Listen, let's not call it pain music. Don't call it pain music, y'all. Yeah, I, see, I kind of started calling it pain music because I'm all three. Okay. Oh, fair enough. Well, I'm gonna have to change that that, that title then. Fair enough. That's that's. I a got fair you. Reason. <laughs> that's definitely a fair reason, man. Yes, sir. Got so to, is, man. Yeah. So as far got as to. collaborations. Collaborating with other artists is it is it easy to collaborate with artists in your city? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it is to a certain extent, depending on if they rock with your music and if you are good enough for them to feel like they gotta rap with you or they want to rap with you. If they don't want to rock with you, they're not going to. Like where I live at, they they pretty much just look at you like. Okay, well, here's another guy trying to rap, and he ain't gonna make it nowhere. So, another my, guy trying to rap. where I live at is not really supportive. Mm, I feel yeah, that's all that is. To, that's all we are to them. Right? Yeah, it'd be uh, like that sometimes. They're they're not supportive at all. Yeah, just keep grinding though. Don't stop. Yeah, like, F damn, <laughs> almost definitely. Like you know what I'm saying, like meeting Skrill Town, man, meeting Skrill Town Mo. That that guy didn't help me with so much over the last year and a half, man. He didn't help me. And he introduced me to you. Then he introduced me to other great artists. Like he just he just wrote a, a few of us about an hour ago with a song that he wanted a few of us to do for him. So you know we, we definitely finna do that. Okay, yeah, I seen him definitely post about that. that. You one of the artists so. that's gonna do it? Yeah, yeah. Love. Love yeah. that's tight. That's tight. That's tight. <laughs> now I'm trying. I, man, I'm just trying to get on anything that I can so I can get my name exposed and get more out there. Yeah, I mean, as you should. You feel me? You just grind. Gotta do that. So, man, since yeah. you've been in the music industry, um, what's what's one of the biggest lessons that you've learned being in this harsh ass music industry? Well, the main thing I learned was keep your circle uh, short. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't have a whole bunch of people in your circle. Uh, second off, man, don't rap about stuff you don't rap about or you don't do or live because people will eventually call you out on it, and that's going to ruin your whole career. Yes, yes. So, so if you ain't got big chains I'm or even. big pendants, don't act like you do. Cause nah. Part. Where your chain at, player? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, run up on you real quick. Where your chains at? Where your jewelry at? Yeah, it happened yeah. to me once. Yeah. So you know, yeah. that's why I don't wear the big pendants no more, and you know all the stuff no more. Cause you know I, I, I got caught lacking. At a show, it happens. It happens. Don't don't do yeah, it. Yeah, no so it's all good. 
I don't want you calling me like. Oh hell no, that's a wrap. You <laughs> got me again. <laughs> nope, now I ain't gonna get me again. That was a lesson learned. A facts, facts, man. Y'all heard the man. Pay attention. Stop rapping about stuff you ain't really got it. You don't really be doing. Because when it's time to get that that what they, yeah. when, they when they go to pull your car, you ain't got nothing to say. That look bad on you and your nah. <laughs> you can't even run. <laughs> yeah, for real, for real, man. Hey, man. So if if you could pick one person to collaborate with in the music world, brother, who would it be? Dun dun dun. Why you gotta do me like that? Dun, dun, dun. Just one, <laughs> just just one. Okay, okay, pick two. I get you two. All right, that's easy. I can easily right. go with Drake, and I can easily go with Mo three if he was still alive. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Dr hey, Drake, that's my dude. <laughs> Man, Drake that's killing everything. I've been, I've been, I've been a fan of Drake since he was Jimmy. And I didn't even yeah. know that was Jimmy. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't, I ain't start listening yeah. to Drake till you start dropping. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, room for approving and stuff like that. Yeah, that's and this nigga cold. Man. This nigga cold. Where the hell this come from? The boy got he got he got punchlines for those. <laughs> for real, man. So, tell I mean, me about I, it. I've been on that certified lover boy for days. Right. How did you connect with Squirrel Town Mo Management? Make sure y'all go tap in with my boy Squirrel Town Mo and his management company. He out here killing the game. But how did you get locked in with him, bro? Yeah. Man, it's a, this is an interesting story, man. All right, so back in 2019, 2020, I was uh, I ran into his dude on Facebook. His name was Derek Jeter from Grand Hustle. So we linking in, we tapped in, you know what I'm saying, probably doing some business. And I guess he was doing the same thing with Squirrel Town. Yeah. Come to find out, it was a scam. Oh, wow. Yeah, you, know, you know what I'm saying? Nigga ran off with, you know what I'm saying, some money from from both sides. So mm -hmm. one day, Squirrel Town hit me up on Messenger and just called me. was like, yo, what's, what's going on? Is this dude really real type shit? And I'm, I'm telling him, I don't, I'm starting to think he's not. You know what I'm saying? Right. So from that moment on, me and him and a few other artists that he's been dealing with been been locked in, tapped in all day, every day for the last year and a half, two years now. Yeah. No, that's super cool, man. Hey, I want to see yeah. you and and uh, what's her name? And Daphne from Paris. Yeah. yeah I, wa I want to see y'all yeah. collaborate. Y'all need to make that happen. <laughs> man, that's my boo, man. We we definitely gonna try to work, uh, make some work. You know what I'm saying to where we can do that. We've been talking about that for like the last, I want to say, month or so. We've been talking about that, okay. and then that me and XR okay. beats. We finna do something. So okay. yeah, we 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 got some stuff coming off off of Squirrel Town in 2022. Okay, uh, Mr. Squirrel Town Mo, sir, I need you to send me everybody, all of your people, send them to the Just Be Show. <laughs> if they all gonna be dope. Like yes, yo, sir. Yo, Cap Trey and Daphne, yo, keep sending them. I want to interview all y'all, man. He seems to pick some pretty dope people, man, and I really appreciate that for, for a fact. Yeah, yeah he definitely real. did. He definitely does pick some good people. Yeah. What's so, your favorite thing about being a, a, a music artist? Um, My favorite thing is being able to express myself, being able to say what I want, what I want, how I want to say it. Right. I'm not worried about what if I say something that you don't really understand what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. The third or fourth time you playing me, you listening to that part, you be like, "Oh shit, that shit went straight over my head." Like, I try to, I try to do stuff like that where I can fuck people's heads up yeah, and make no, them think. Yeah. Right? Yeah, you gotta listen to it again, play it running back. That's another stream. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> that's, that's hey, it's a Definitely. hustle. <laughs> It's hey, you gotta get how you man. live, man. Yeah, but we gotta hustle. So this is a very important question. I've had to learn this myself as a podcast host that keeping your you gotta keep you gotta live two different lives, bro. You gotta live the art the artist life, but you gotta yeah. keep your your personal life private. You know what I mean? But how is it, how important is that yeah. to you to keep them two separate? Well. Really? It's very important because you don't want nobody, you know what I'm saying, no, knowing too much information on you, too much backstory on your family. 
It's just it's very important to stay private. You know, there's there's certain things that you want to talk about, and there's certain things that you should not talk about. Right. So right. Sometimes you should just learn how to keep your mouth closed. Yeah, people love to use shit against you, man. No, hey, man. (laughs) They use shit against me. (laughs) That's funny that you brought that up. That they're trying to use against you. Because I had I had somebody try to hit me with the cancel culture, bro. I was like, really? <laughs> hey, he tried it though. Hey, he yeah, tried they, it, man. He tried yeah. it on cool. Yeah, they tried it. I think they was trying to get it. We get that you don't fall for it though. Yeah, no, no, no. Hey, shout out to my fans for being so dope and not falling for that BS because that was crazy. They know who I'm talking. My real fans, they man. know who I'm talking about. Because, bro, I was like, but it taught me a lesson. Yo, yeah, this so, nigga really so tried that bullshit. Important. Yeah, it taught me a lesson. Yeah, That's man. why I added that question to the to the hit. Like, uh, let me find out what everybody else think. For real, man. Yeah, so, I, I definitely feel that. Yeah, besides music, you know what I mean. You write. I'm sure you write. You write your music. Uh, do yeah. You record your own music. Yeah. As far as like producing my own music, no, nah, I got a I got a, a a homeboy that I've been locked in with for like 13, 14 years. And we've been like recording every day. Even before I went to prison, we've been recording like three mid tapes. And since I've been home, we've been working on a, a, a steady project. So that's cool. I try, cool. but I'm still learning how to <laughs> use the programs and all that and lining everything up. Yeah. Hey, I ain't got hey, patience. No I, I just, I'm an artist. So I just want to record my shit. <laughs> but yeah. Said, no now I'm it. starting to try to. Uh, Man, nah, man. I really don't. I really don't. I'll be catching writer block and shit. I'll be like, damn, I don't even really want to record today. Like, fuck. But I got to. Yeah. yeah. I got to. That, le- that leads us into the next question, bro. How the hell do you deal with those moments when you got writer's block? Whew. Man, um, for a while, it, it got to the point where I was just like, man, I don't want to write. I'll stop writing for a minute. And then I had linked, I had tapped in with uh, XR Beats, and he hooked me up on with somebody on uh, Instagram, uh, mm-hmm. Domino Ciphers. I'm not sure if you heard of that, where they give you topics and give you ways of breaking your writer's block. So when he did that, I was like, man, I started watching them, and I was like, damn, okay. Mm-hmm. Next thing I know, like three days later, I wrote like four songs. So I was oh, like, here we go. There it is. We back. There it is. Yo, we want to know yeah, the same, that same question goes out to whomever's watching at this moment. If you're an artist, whether it's be R&B, yeah. hip hop, country, rock, it doesn't matter. When you have that moment, when you just can't figure out what else to write, how do you get past writer blocks? Let us know in the comment section below. Thank you. <coughs> yeah, man, I like to always. Yeah, I like to always ask the people because I want to know everybody's opinion. Because sometimes I get writer's block. I ain't no artist like that, but I like to do yeah. that. You know, and I get writer's block. Man, man shit, I'm pretty sure you can do something. Yeah, I'll be stuck, bro. Man, and that's like, the... What else to say? That's the worst <laughs> feeling in the world. Yeah, that's the worst feeling, man. Be like, you in a in, in a good strive. You got a, you got your whole setup and everything. And when it comes down to that last part, you're like, damn. Nigga, I can't, I can't get it. What, what I need to do? So, right. Yeah, XR Beats, so man, you really helped me with that one, bro. Yeah, yo, shout out to XRB. Yeah, he sure really helped me with that. Go. Where can they find him at? What's his name on IG? XRB Beats. Uh, you can find him on Instagram. You find him on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure he got some other sites too, but them the only ones yeah. I know. Yeah. But Make sure y'all yeah. go tap in. Go tap and he got in some dope homies. beats. Go tap in with the homie yes, and get the beats. Support the brothers. I'm all about yes, support, sir. Man. support the king. So what else do you do, man? You do music? Do you do you hold down a job? Yeah, I'm actually, you know what I'm saying, I, I just got hired at Mickey D's again. Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to, you know what I'm saying, do what I need to do to take care of my music. And then most importantly, my son, he just turned three months. So I'm, I'm definitely trying to balance everything and keep everything afloat. Yeah. That's all I can Let do, man, say, be a man, black man in the damn world. I give you so much kudos right now because... It ain't too many people that would be like, yo, I just got a job at McDonald's. 
You know what I mean? But you're not prideful, and I love that. That's real. Man, I'm real I'm very humble, and I appreciate that. Yeah, a job yeah. is a job, man. And some people act like, ah, I'm not one of people to know I work there. It's like, bro, do you make money? You do? Yeah. Congratulations. Exactly. You got to, you know what I'm saying, you're able to pay your rent and take care of your children, right? All right, then it don't matter where you work at. I don't give a damn. I'm a Leo, so I don't care what nobody think about me, feel about me. So I don't, I don't care. Right. I mean, yeah, you should, Shit. bro. I could be on, I could be on, the, on the corner stripping. Yeah. What? Give a fuck. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. For real. Hey, man. So, one of the first questions like the main questions i gotta ask you is about self-love you know you work you take care of your, your kid you feel me uh you do music on a full-time basis but how do you practice self-love how does no cap trait take care of himself sometimes you know you gotta make time for yourself um i'll you know i'll, I'll roll me up one and go 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 chill get my mind right you know what I'm saying? Assess what I'm going through that week or that day. And, you know, I figure out how I'm going to get through it. You know, you just got to love yourself no matter what. Yeah. No matter who yeah. loves you, love yourself. Love yourself, y'all. Y'all know that's my number yeah. one focus is self-love. In my entire company, I promote it to every – I preach it to everybody I see because when I learn to love myself truly – a whole world mm -hmm. of opportunities opened up, bro. You know what I mean? It a really does. Opportunities. And I was like, oh, this what I've been missing? Uh. So that's what I feel like. And then at the same job. time. Yeah. Go ahead. And then at the same time, it gives you a whole new way of thinking. And it gives you a whole yeah. new thought pattern. So it really, so really does. That's that that's really most really most important. Really most important that definitely bro number one because without you what do you really have you got to make sure you're good first you got to make sure your cup is filled before you can pour it into anybody else your plate got to be full too before you can share the scraps i'm just saying exactly yes love yourself it's that's very, real shit. very important man so man this one is pretty crazy right here man this question right here i've been asking everybody this i like this question especially for the music artists. If you had to perform on the biggest stage of your life, any stage you want, but you got to be blindfolded, where would you perform? Where would I perform? Hold on, man. Somebody calling my phone. I got to eject this shit. All right. Um, if I had to perform on the biggest stage of my life blindfolded, where would I perform? Damn, I don't know. Uh, anywhere, anywhere, honestly. Anywhere. I don't really care where. I, I, I just, I just enjoy performing. I enjoy turning into no cap. You know what I'm saying on the stage and in the studio. I enjoy that. So I don't care where I'm at. You can put me. You can put me in Africa. You feel me? You can put me in 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 the the desert, and I'll still get on that motherfucker stage and kill it. Right. Hell yeah. This is me. Now, now, unity, brother. That's another big thing. You found self-love. You love yourself. You take yeah. care of Trey. You feel me? Now, I think it's very important after that to figure out ways to bring unity within the people around you, your community, your brand, your music. How do you plan to do that? Yeah. First off, I plan on doing that by establishing myself and getting my city known. I just want to do the same things that other artists done for their cities, like giving back turkey drives and stuff like that. Like I want to be able to do stuff like that because where I live at, you got a whole bunch of homeless people. You got, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, some with kids, and I want to be able to give back so my community can 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 be comfortable. I don't want to be a famous rapper from this city, and then I come back, people look at me like, "Why are you here? You don't do nothing for us." I want to be able to look out for my people, yeah. white, black, no matter who you is. You need help, Tell okay? Me. Well, see, I, I I put you up in a room for a couple of days, right? You right. know? Yeah, that's love, man. Real talk, that's real love. So yeah, as far as your sound, 
I know obviously from 10 to now it's developed over the years. Now, did it just develop yeah. based off of influences from other artists around the world or only influences from the city you live in? Uh, my influences definitely come from everybody around the world. Mm -hmm. I might, I might buy as I don't stick in my city. Like I got influences from like, like the, like the West coast, Cali, uh, East coast, Midwest, South. I, I have, I love music. Like, but my biggest inspiration for music would would definitely come from the Texas uh, music scene. Okay. Chopped and screw, DJ screw. Like, I love them. Like, I'm not from there, but I have family out there that lives there and grew up there. They put me on a lot of that music. And my favorite Texas rapper would be Trey the Truth and Lil Flip. Okay. Hey, Lil Flip. Okay. I remember yeah. Lil Flip. Yeah, yeah man. Oh, that's dope, man. Hey, yeah. respect to you, King, because even though he in his city, he's still giving shots out to Texas and all the people out there, man. That's love. Yeah. Man. That's, that's, that's how music should be. It shouldn't be competitions between the cities and shit. I feel like that shit weird, bro. Like, nah. Why we can't just all be. Maybe we can, maybe with this interview, the shit would change. So maybe we yeah. can change it. I don't know. For real. And this, we'll this, see. this show, yeah, this show has interviewed a lot of people in Texas. So. Hopefully, that'll be dope. Yeah, that'll be dope, and you'll get we'll a see. chance to collaborate with the little flips and the Trey Truth and all of that. You feel me? I had already like before I got had went to prison and shit. I had I had opened up for Lil Flip. I done some shows for Lil Flip and stuff. So okay. I just need to get back what? in with him one day. Oh man! Yeah, I done big whole, shows before. We got a whole celebrity <laughs> on our hands, player. <laughs> man, I wish. I fucking wish, bro. Yeah, that's super cool. One day, man. God's yeah. will. Yeah. So what you got out right now? Oh, uh, right single? now we are actually my newest single is The Struggle Is Real, produced by Skrill Town Mo and, and Josh Cox. Um is it on, is it on that's the one we're it? really focusing on right now. Oh, uh, you can find that on Spotify, iTunes, Apple, all your music major music major platforms. Um I got my video on YouTube currently sitting at 12K plays. Woo! That's a blessing. Um, yeah, we got that. And then we also got the uh, Me and Skrill Town and a couple of other artists got the uh, Grind Harder Go Home album going to come out okay. January 1st this year. Uh, I got a song on there called Questions. So, yeah, okay. we, we, we definitely out here working. That's tight, man. So the last matter of fact, we I ain't even gonna tell y'all which one, but right after this interview, we gonna drop one of them videos he just named. <laughs> which one you want them to see? <laughs> I would love for y'all to see uh the struggle is real. The struggle is I real. I bet. Right after the interview, we dropping the struggle is real. So every and I'm gonna put the link in the description section so everybody can know where to find it and you'll get to see it right here on the Just B show. I think that's dope. Yes, sir. Struggle is real. I think that's thank a good song to listen to, man. I've listened to a lot of them already, yeah. but now they need to listen. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah. So progression is the last thing, brother. This is how I like to describe it. It's kind of weird, but it, it's, it makes sense. So we 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 born, we live a life, but everything has an ending. It may it may keep going yeah. throughout the generations, but for us, it has an ending. So I want to know what your vision of No Cap Trey and his music career looks like. How you want it to look before you leave this planet? Um, I would definitely want my music to be remembered as something that's timeless, that it's very relatable. Um, I don't want people to just look at me like, oh, he's just doing it for the fame. He ain't really making good music. Nah, I want to make good music. I don't want to die nobody. I want to be yeah. somebody. Yes. So. Yes. Yes. I don't want to die a nobody. I want to be somebody. Yeah. Man. But you know yeah. what you can do? I said that in the song just, before. By just being your goddamn self. Straight up. Exactly. You know what I mean? Self-love, unity, and progression. Exactly. And I promise you, King, you can get them. You got you just like the Amen. Tip. You know what I mean? And it and it I, I would say people try to say, like, oh, it's that's just your template. Nah, brother. That think about it. That's the template. Self-love, you gotta start with that's you. the template of life. 
yeah. unity and then progression. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it's man, it's like building a transformer. Exactly. This is you, then it's y'all, and then y'all moving. You feel me? That's a beautiful thing, man. Everybody so before, goes. Yeah, facts. So before we jump off, man, one of the very last things I like to do is to motivate the people. I'm going to motivate them, and I also want you to motivate them. So if you have one piece of advice yeah. that you can give to the people out here in the world, our supporters, our followers, our friends, our friends, family, what would that piece of advice be? Well, my one piece of advice to everybody would be definitely love, live life. You know, you ain't got to, you know what I'm saying, live for anybody but yourself. Make sure you love yourself. And then once you love yourself, everything going to fall into place. You're going to feel a whole lot better in life. Trust me. Yeah. I feel it now. Wish I would have yeah. felt that back then. Yeah. Love. And where can they find you, champ? Man, you can find me on Facebook, No Cap Trey. Uh, my uh, Instagram, and was Clark No Cap? Um, shit, my music, Loom L U M dot com, Reverb Nation, YouTube, Title, you know, everywhere. Just type in No Cap Trey, and you are gonna see your boy. You are gonna see my little light skin face. Hey, team light skin in for the win. <laughs> we definitely gonna win. We definitely win it, man. But hey, man. Make sure that y'all go follow my boy, go and listen to his music, watch his videos, and just feel it. Feel my mans all the way around, man. Yeah. He's dope. You know what I mean? And it, let me tell you this, brother, man. Um, brother to brother, man to man, I'm proud of you, bro. For real. I appreciate you. Yo, just keep grinding. Keep taking, being there for your for your children. Keep doing your thing at work until you don't got to work no more. You know what I mean? And um, Yeah. Man, and just keep going, going, and stay ambitious, brother. I'm really impressed by the fact that we lost signal last time, and then we scheduled it a month out, and we still got it done, bro. That's that's I'm impressed, bro. Yes, that's sir. Dope. That's dope, and I'm super. I appreciate proud it, man. Don't ever stop, for real, for real. Now it's my turn to motivate. Yeah, I appreciate man. you and everything you're doing. Oh, all love, all love, all love. You can you can come on the show whenever, man. Just let me know. I appreciate you, man. Yeah, just let me know, brother. And now I'm gonna motivate the world, man. My motivation is pretty simple, right? Let me let me let me zoom in real quick. Y'all already know I got three pieces of advice. It's gonna sound like twelve, but it's three. <laughs> and it goes something like this, right? I need you to smile, laugh, and definitely motivate. Inspire one to inspire all. And last but not least, just be the best version of your goddamn exactly. self. Be comfortable doing that. And then once you're comfortable, show others how to do it. Preach, show others, teach, show others. Live, laugh, love, and let's just keep being great, y'all.
Growing up wasn't hard, but it wasn't easy either. Had both my parents in house, plus an older brother. Sounds like a good start. Shit, but it really wasn't. Now it's time for me to tell you a little story. By my struggle, first I'm 31. With a wife and a baby on the way. Stay at my mama house, that ain't even the worst part. I'm a family with two more years to go. Can't even find a good paying job to help a little bit. I'm trying my hardest not to spaz and snap out with this pistol. Just to get a few dollars to pay the rent, which was due two months ago. But I gotta keep my head held high while I stand. On ten toes, shooting dice, what they hitting for? 7 Eleven, Lil Joe, we hitting the back door with the 44 just so we can eat the next day. It's nothing personal, it's five of the fittest. You see it every day on the news, blacks killing blacks for chains. I wake up every morning, pray for better days. Struggle hella real, gotta figure out my next meal. Now, gotta get money for the light deal. Hey, the struggle real. The struggle real, I wake up every morning, pray for better days. Struggle hella real, gotta figure out my next meal now. Nah, gotta get money for the light bill. Hey, the struggle real. The struggle real. See things get rougher as time goes on. Pent up frustration and bottle up emotions will get the best of you. It can cause you to do some crazy things, even have some crazy thoughts containing things like death and such. Considering I never thought like that as much. There will be days when you feel like giving up, but don't. There will be days when it feel like you don't have what it takes. There will be days when everything seems like it's falling apart. Just know that things will work out for the good. And there will be days when you look back. I can say I'm glad I never gave up Place a hand on the heart, you feel that? That's called purpose Your life for a reason, so please don't ever give up Sometimes the strip within you is not a big fiery flame For everyone to see is just a tiny spark that whispers Ever so softly and keep going, you got this For everyone to see is just a tiny spark that whispers Ever so softly and keep going, you got this I wake up every morning, pray for better days Struggle hella real, gotta figure out my next meal now. Gotta get money for the light deal. Ayy, the struggle real, the struggle real. I wake up every morning, pray for better days. Struggle hella real, gotta figure out my next meal now. Gotta get money for the light deal. Ayy, the struggle real, the struggle real. I wake up every morning, pray for better days. Struggle hella real, gotta figure out my next meal now. Gotta get money for the light deal. Ayy, the struggle real, the struggle real. I wake up every morning, pray for better days. Struggle hella real, gotta figure out my next meal now. Gotta get money for the light deal. Ayy, the struggle real.